Salut coders, this is Piski here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Home greetings to those who are joining us for the first time. And in this tutorial, it's our introductory tutorial of Quarkus. We want to learn more about Quarkus. We want to create a new project on Quarkus. So this is the website for Quarkus. It's Quarkus.io. And in this page, you will learn more about the advantages of using Quarkus. It's container first, a community standard, cube native, and also like uh, people who loves this framework and the rest when you are comparing Quarkus with the traditional framework such as Spring Framework, the amount of RAM that is being used with Quarkus. And you can see here Quarkus plus native, you can see here it's 12 megabytes and comparing the same application with Spring, it was 136 megabytes. And in terms of um, starting the application, the boot, you can see this is was the traditional with the spring framework, the amount of time it took and the time is reduced. And Quarkus with the native, it's 0 0.016. It was comparing with the, we are comparing the rest and this is with the crude. So here the amount of time just increased a bit. So I can, you can, as you can see, it's good to use Quarkus because uh, uh, you can use a small memory and uh, even the speed of booting up in case you build microservices uh, it's boot, it, it will boot very fast and start to receive call, calls while the spring application or traditional uh, application trying to start up and so let's get started with Quarkus for getting started you just click start coding and this just telling us the extension the library that we can use let's say let's start coding and here let's change here i will just say com dot code with bisque then our artifact will be learning learning with bisque and we are going to choose muffin so you can choose either grade or what but I prefer Muffin, I'm used to Muffin. So, as I told you on the previous tutorial about Quarkus, we can use this extension like web, we can use Spring Web, you can use REST Easy. For me, I, from my background, I was using Spring. So, I think it's best to use the existing uh, libraries that you already know. So, here I have to choose a Spring. I will search for Spring here. I'll just say Spring Web and I'll tick this one and then I'll click Generate. And these are the commands that we can use. They are also in the README, so we can just download it. So after download this, let's open and it's now in the Downloads folder, so I can minimize this. And let's open our IDE so that we can open. I just say open and you can choose the folder. So for me, it is in downloads. And I will choose this and open the POM file. Click open and open as a project. So this is our first project, our first Quarkus project. So to run this project, let's see what is in the source folder. This is the greeting controller. So you can see this is the greeting a low spring. And as you can see here, uh, we, we are using the what we are used to dependencies for spring risk controller. And you can use get mapping. And also we can, you can, as I told you, before on my tutorial, why do you use Quarkus? We already have everything that we need from Docker. So this is the command for to running the Docker native, which is the faster way. And uh, it will generate a small, a small file and you, that uses less memory. So you don't have to know how to write it. Quarkus comes with everything that you need to know. So let's try to run this application.
for the first time it will download some dependencies so don't worry just for the first time so after running the application is running on port 8080 so let me click this you can see this is our first project and this is our endpoint so this endpoint is here you can see a low spring and i told you the other thing that uh, when you just do any change it's just do what reloading so if i come here and i will change here to salo coders So I don't have to restart the application like what you used in a traditional application. You need just to come here and you just click reload. And you can see it immediately, it shows us how, how quickly it is when, when, when we are developing. So I'm very interested of doing this. It's a what reload. If I used to what reload, people would develop a front end like Angular, React Native. They are used to what reload. So with Quakas, it's also the same and you to increase the speed of developing without spending time restarting and with using old frameworks traditional frameworks you have to wait for a minute for an application to start just to see if your changes are working fine so this is another thumb up for quackers and as you can see here we need to do something here i want to stop this application and i want to go to resources so what is the in what is the resource properties this is where we can configure our application to change to change a separate port it was running on port 8080 so we can change this port to run on different port maybe you have a, another application that is running on port 8080 so you want to change this in this port so we just say if you just type port here you can see the default is 880 so i can just say 1990 so if i try to run this application let me stop it if i try to run the application it's now running on port 1990 so you can see the URI is 1990 and you can see here it's 1990 if i try to reload this one which was 880 it means there's no service that is running there and our greetings is still salu coders everything is, works works fine and the other thing that i want to show you so here in properties we have to configure the properties how your application like if you use another dependencies they can say to change this thing you need to change it in the property so this is the property file which is in resources so the we can change the path you can see this path it's saying port a uh, greeting so we can change this path like say root root path this one and i can say i can call it learning then i have to reload because we are we are changing this So if I try to access this folder, it won't work because the resource is not found because we changed the path, the root path. So I'll just say learning, which is our path. You can see. So all, all, all of our endpoints must start with the learning. So in, in, in spring, they call it context path. Here we call it root path. So it's just configurations. You have to configure the way you want your application. So if you are developing microservices, maybe it's an auth service. You just call it this. The part of this microservice is, is supposed to start with auth. For this music service, start with music so that you can differentiate on your gateway. So I think you are now interested in this. And the other thing that you can notice here, maybe, which you, did, you didn't notice, some of Java developer asking, we only have one file and this is the we only have the rest where's the main method because in java we know everything comes with main method so let's just type something here like quackers main quackers main class and we can go into here so 
by default this quarkus main method we don't have to write it it does its magic when the application share starts so by default quarkus will automatically generate a main method that will bootstrap quarkus and then just wait for shutdown to be initiated so if you want to do some configurations in let's say you want to do something when the application starts you can modify you can add this main method but you have to add this like a quarkus main so what we can do i can just copy one of these methods like this let's just create a main method maybe we want to do something before the application starts or just after after it starts because i know like if you are coming from spring framework you need to implement the command line runner so you can create this class which is called main and once you are in here let's copy because you can see you have to annotate that class with the main so it, it knows that it's now using this class as your main method so do startup logic here then we type anything that we want then it will wait for what for an exit so let's re rerun the application and see what happens when the application starts you can see do start up here this is the logic and this is our this is something that we wrote here this one so i think you can start enjoying using quarkus and it looks very interesting and the way we want quarkus is that it's very easy to to configure things and some of the things are done behind the scene you don't have to know more about those things and for you developers it's good to learn quarkus uh, this was an introduction video in the next video we want to go more on the race controller adding more race controller so that for beginners you'll be able to start to build your rest endpoints and you are going to layer by layer into services into repository and we are going to implement security we are going to implement authentication and authorizations we are going to use key clock so there are a lot of things that you are going to use and we are going to use the database a uh, versioning uh, with the flyway or liquid base i don't know yet but we are going to learn a lot of things so if you are new to this channel make kindly subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload new video salut coders